What up folks, it's Alex here and welcome to 5-ish Minute Friday. Now, sometimes when you're making these videos, you only want to use your in-camera audio like I'm using now. But other times, you want to record some voiceover in post. Now fortunately, there's an area in DaVinci Resolve called ADR which allows you to do just that. And that's what we're going to have a look at today. Now, ADR and Fairlight can get a little bit complicated. There's quite a bit of depth to it. But in this video, I'm just going to show you the basics to get set up up and running so you can start recording some voiceover for your videos directly within DaVinci Resolve. So let's boot it up and I'll show you how. Now as you can see I've already got my project set up so I'm ready to start recording my voiceover. Now before you actually begin there's two things I recommend that you do. The first is to create a new audio track. Now this audio track is where your voiceover is going to sit. So I'm just going to go to this empty area down here on my timeline, right click, add track and then click stereo. Now just so I know which one I'm dealing with, I'm going to change audio three to voice over. Now I've also got some other audio here, as you can see. Now this is my in camera or in game audio, whatever it may be. When I'm recording my voiceover, I don't actually want to hear this because it's going to come out of my speakers and into my microphone. And it's going to create a loop and it's not going to be very nice. So I'm just going to mute these two tracks. With that done, we can head over to Fairlight. And then as soon as you're in Fairlights, before you actually start recording, you just need to set your microphone up to record to that voiceover channel. So we're just going to go up to the top right hand corner and click on Mixer to open up the mixer down here on the bottom right. A3, if I look down here, I can see the actual names, Audio 1, Audio 2, and then VoiceOver. VoiceOver is the other one that I want. So on this track here, I'm going to click No Input, click on Input, and then the patch input output window will appear. Now all you need to do, it's already got voiceover R for right, voiceover L for left selected. So I just need to click on microphone. So it puts a white box around it. And then I'm gonna click on patch. And you can see it's got voiceover the track there and it's got microphone and microphone. Once that's done, you can click on the cross to close the window. And then last but not least, we need to set that track to record. So you just head over onto the timeline here where it says voiceover and click on the R. Now, as soon as you hit that and start talking, you can probably hear yourself coming through the speakers and you can see that the audio is being picked up, as you can see on my screen here. If you can hear yourself and it's a little bit annoying and it's creating a bit of a loop in your recordings, the easiest thing to do is just head over to here and just mute your speakers like so. And then also, if your microphone is either too loud or too quiet, you need to adjust it. Just head down to your mixer here, use the slider to increase or decrease the sensitivity. So then you just need to click on ADR from the menu in the top hand corner here to open the ADR window. Make sure you're on list and then we need to set some cues. Now cues are simply sections of the video where you want to record voiceover. You can do it all in one big go if you want or you can just split it up into smaller segments. I prefer to split it up because it's a little bit easier if you make a mistake. So to create a cue, all you need to do is head to this timeline here and select the point where you want to start recording audio. So I'm just going to move my playhead and let's say at this point here, I want to start some voiceover. So I'm just going to hit the I key on my keyboard to create an in point. Go over here and let's say right here, I want to create an out point. I can hit O on my keyboard and this is the point where I'm going to be recording audio. So then I can click on new cue and it will create that section. And then this empty box here, you can either enter a prompt or a script which will appear on screen when you're recording. So you can script out your whole video if you want or you can just use short prompts. So I'm just gonna call this one introduction. And you can see it will say here. And if I give that a click, you can see it on screen. First one, introduction. And you can also see I've got my in and my out points. Now what I recommend you do here is go through your whole video creating different cues for different sections. You can be as precise or as vague as you like. You can do lots of really big ones or lots of tiny short ones, however you want to do it. Then once you've created all these different cues, all you need to do is click on record to head to the record screen. Select the cue that you want to record the voiceover for. So in this case, I'm going to go with first one introduction and it will automatically take you to that point within your timeline. And then from the top menu here, where you've got play, stop and record, 
I can just hit record. It will take me to that precise moment, start recording and start playing through. Now, as you can see on the screen, I've got that prompt, first one introduction or script if you've scripted the whole thing out. And I've also got a progress bar moving across the screen so I know how far into this section I am. If you look at the timeline, you can also see the WAV file appearing so you can see that it's recording my audio. Once you've got right to the end, it will automatically stop the recording and save your voiceover. Once your voiceover has been saved, you can see take one, it appears in this box here and then you can just hit play to hear it back and see if you're happy with it or not. If you're not happy with it, you can simply hit record to give it a second try. And it will start doing the exact same thing for your take two. And you can do as many takes as you like until you're happy with it. So I'm done with my introduction. I'm going to click on my main bit. I can hit record and start recording the voiceover for this section. And the same thing, take one, take two, do as many as you like. As you can see here, I've recorded three takes. Now let's just, for example, say you've recorded a third take, but actually you realize that the second take was better. So you want to go with the second one rather than the third one. It's a bit strange. You can't just select it from here, but what you can do, head to the timeline. I'm going to select that one and just hit backspace. And it's just going to delete take three. So the latest take will always be the top one. So just select it on the timeline, hit backspace, and now I'm only left with two. Now two is the one that's going to keep. So we're going to keep that one as it is, and we're ready to go. Now we can shoot back to the edit tab. I've got my timeline there on this voiceover audio track. I can keep editing my video and we're all good to go. And that's it folks. I hope that was useful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or feedback down below and don't forget to subscribe. And for all you regular subscribers, I do even apology because I've not been as consistent as I like to be. I've just been really busy the past couple of weeks. I haven't been consistently regularly making these videos. So I'm sorry about that. I've got another couple of busy weeks. I'm a best man for a a friend's wedding so I've got loads of stuff going on but I'm going to do my best to keep making these videos but once all that's out the way it'll be back to business as normal videos every week plus additional cool stuff that I've got in the pipeline but anyway thank you all for watching I hope you are good take it easy I'll see you next time bye ah.